WrestleMania 20, pretty banged up. I've watched this so many times, especially this two, because uh, the triple threat match, Eddie Angle, Undertaker, uh, Kane, it's just epic. Um, but yeah, I might end up getting a new copy because I have literally, because I got this when I was very young, you know, didn't know how to take care of things. Haven't improved much today, to be honest. Uh, 21, nice little blue cover, WrestleMania Goes Hollywood, three disc collectors. Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels, definitely stole the show here. Not much more to say. Batista and Cena obviously started their rise at this event. 22, we got... Uh, let's see if I've got my memories of this. John Cena, Triple H is a good main event. Mick Foley, Edge. Uh, Shawn Michaels, Vince, that was pretty good. The Triple Threat was alright, but I wasn't a big fan of him as champion. For obvious reasons, but... Obviously, it's always nice for the Hall of Fame and that. Uh, Bret Hart and Eddie went in that year. That's pretty good. Then we have the uh, tin, the big tins. Uh, like WrestleMania 23, obviously Battle of the Billionaires, Trump McMahon. Uh, Cena face Michaels, Batista face The Undertaker. It was actually a very good match. Uh, Benoit's last WrestleMania. Kennedy won money in the bank, I think. Let's see if I'm trying to get some idea what happened. But yeah, you just get the regular set inside the tin and it increases the size on the shelf, so most people appreciate that. Uh, WrestleMania 24, exactly the same style of tin, just different colours, really nice colour. Um, right, yep. Big show, Floyd Mayweather. Um, Undertaker Edge, Triple Threat there. Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair, definitely the best one on that show. WrestleMania 25 didn't come in a big box, uh, well, it didn't come in a tin, but it did come in a big box. It's, I'm not going to take it out because it's going to be really awkward with one hand, but there is a little mini encyclopedia inside, and it's a nice chunky box. And uh, yeah, that's it. The story of WrestleMania, bonus 64 page book. Uh, Hall of Fame induction ceremony, Stone Cold went in, and uh, HBK Undertaker stole the show. I think the main event was really crap, if I'm being honest. Uh, right, WrestleMania 26 with the limited edition lenticular. The material I cannot touch, but it looks pretty cool. Take that off, you just get the regular set underneath. I'm gonna mess about. It's exactly the same as everyone else's. Um, obviously, we come to the latest one. 27, nice holographic cover. Uh, the Rock hosting it was a plus. Uh, Undertaker Triple H was a plus. Uh, Rock and Stone Cold backstage was a plus. Everything else, I think, was pretty average. Um, yeah, 28 completely blew this one out of the water. But obviously, I do not have that one yet. Uh, now, some honourable mentions, obviously, because all the pay per views are there. Uh, the 2004 Hall of Fame. Obviously, this is before the Hall of Fame was packaged with the WrestleManias. But I thought I'd throw this in anyway. It's a two disc set, I believe. Yeah, two disc set. And it comes with matches as well, which feature the inductees. So, pretty cool. And, pretty pointless set, in my opinion. Uh, really cheap. Great superstars of WrestleMania. They just take each of these guys and a couple of others and just throw in a match and a quick synopsis of what their career's been like. Um, I bought this because it was really cheap uh, while I was on holiday. And I'm thinking, you know... I already own all the pay-per-views, so it was just for the little synopsis for each wrestler at the start. Um, the History of WrestleMania 1-9. Uh, this was originally a VHS, The History of WrestleMania. Um, Vince McMahon hosts it in his, back in his commentator days. And uh, just goes over quickly about each WrestleMania. Um, oh yeah, nice to own. Uh, nice little watch to have. And finally we have the Blu-rays. Uh, WrestleMania 24, got this recently. Uh, it's a two disc set. Uh, the whole event on one and the Hall of Fame on the other. Pretty basic, but I like the fact that you don't have to change discs with the Blu-rays. Always nice. WrestleMania 25, again this is two discs. 
Hall of Fame on one, event on the other. 26, this is where they start getting pretty big. Three disc set, and they come with either highlights or the, yeah. They come with the Raw and SmackDown, as well as the Hall of Fame. They come with the Raw and SmackDown that went with the event. And there's the whole event on one disc. I think WrestleMania is the one event that I will still get on both formats because it was worth it. Especially 27 because that actually had exclusives to each version. Um, 27. Uh, disc 1. Event. Disc 2. Hall of Fame. Disc 3. Or on SmackDown. I, I assume 28 will be the same. And finally, we have the true story of WrestleMania. Uh, a very good documentary. Obviously, it couldn't go too far in depth, but it was, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Nice sort of thing to watch. I haven't really gone much into Disc 2 and the extra, but the actual documentary that comes here is well worth it. Um, yeah, again, it's just WrestleMania extras, so it wasn't stuff that I really needed, but it's, it's just nice to have... Uh, worth it for the documentary and that was my Wrestlemania collection so I hope to do more videos like that sh showing off my other collections I've got I think I've got almost every SummerSlam except last year and I think I'm about two short of completing my Royal Rumble collection so I'm getting there um, Survivor Series I need a little bit more work because I've still not got some of the early ones so I'll show them off at a later date so thanks for watching